Anti-aging, I bet you're thinking about creams and masks you could buy from the drugstore, but today we're giving you an anti-aging shopping list straight from the pages of my Good Life magazine. I'm gonna show you, you're gonna adore this issue. I'm gonna show you that the best age buffering remedies may actually be in your grocery store your grocery store. And here to share which items to add to our carts is my lovely wife, Lisa, <laughs> who looks as young as the day I met her. <laughs> I just kid. Lisa was getting carded till she, you were about 30. 45. 45, she's still <laughs> getting carded. No. <laughs> All right. So, you're gonna walk us through the items you to add to our shopping list. Remember, grocery store is like a pharmacy. It's that powerful. So what should we be adding to our list? It is? Well, I'm gonna make you guess. What do you think it is? Human skin? I mean, I see pores here. I feel like Hannibal Lecter. Why would I add that to my shopping list? I'll have, I'll have some arm skin, please. No, it is not human skin. It is here to help your skin. It is actually a... Oh my goodness, a, a clementine. clementine. And it is wonderful for your skin. It's full of vitamin. What are you doing? I'm making Valentine here. Oh, okay. Right. Cute, aw. Yeah. So sweet, aw. But... Clementines are like little dermatologists, little round orange dermatologists, because they have tons of vitamin C, which helps build collagen in your skin, makes it firm and taut. See, I just need some Clementine right there. <laughs> sure. And they also protect from UV light, which prevents those wrinkles from forming. So they are fabulous. We love Clementines. Yeah, they, they, and I love tasting them. And they can yeah. eat, if, if you ever get a bad one, toss it, because you get them in a big box. That's how I get them anyway. Okay, next. Parsley. This is actually from our garden. It is. This is our garden. Why is it so valuable for anti-aging? Well, parsley, my favorite property of parsley is that it's a diuretic. And that does not mean it gives you diarrhea. No, 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 don't worry. It actually flushes fluid out of your body. So if you're feeling puffy and bloated, it's a fabulous diuretic. Um, it also has a wonderful antioxidant, quercetin. And you can explain to us what quercetin does. You know, we, we place uh, travel, that word game. But you, she crushes me after. <laughs> Quercetin is a $10, 10 point word. It's, the, it's a lot. It Come depends where you put it. If you get it on the triple letter thing, you can I'm not, blow up I don't the play at that level. I just get to try to make the <laughs> words that are correct. All right, so here's how antioxidants like quercetin work in the body. So imagine this is your skin. Okay, and in your skin, in order for it to work, you've got all kinds of proteins. They look like this. Ooh. They feel good, don't they? That's so cool. So these proteins are naturally there to make your skin talk, give it the bounciness that you want. When you're young, you have lots of healthy proteins like this. As you begin to age, instead of these beautiful, elegant little proteins, your proteins begin to look like this. Ugh. Like little rocks, right? And they are able to spread throughout your body. They go everywhere, so you can't even see where they are. But they're mucking it up. They're preventing the cells and our bodies, the cells and our whole bodies, from functioning like when we were young. So you start to notice your skin's not as taut as it was. How many of you, when you sit down, everything creaks, right? And when you stand up, it's even worse, right? That's because of this aging process. So you gotta use antioxidants. And what antioxidants do, you can't go with your hand and try to find these one by one. Antioxidants, they're like sanitation workers. They, you put them into work in there, and they will grab up all those ugly proteins. And when they come out of your body, they look like this. That's what you want. So now these cells can function normally again and do what they're supposed to do. So how do we use parsley? How do you like to use it the most? Sure. How do I like to make it? Well, in, our, in your green drink that you have in the morning, we use tons of parsley. Again, for the diuretic effect. You love tabbouleh, which is from your homeland. Yes. Um, and my favorite dish with parsley is chimichurri. It is a condiment from South America. So delicious. And we eat a lot of this at our house. And you can't go wrong because you're getting the course and you're not putting on calories. Okay, next item from the anti-aging shopping list is my favorite. We have it in the Good Life feature in a very special place because I love millet. Lisa is team millet. I never even heard of this thing, thing before I met her. But now this is probably one of the most common things we're having at home. Well, most people think of millet thinking of bird seed, which yes. it, it, it is. It is bird seed, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there's big bags, but it is so delicious. Um, it is also really good for you. It has amino acids, which are great for, for preventing hair loss and for keeping your skin firm. It also has magnesium, which is healthy for your heart and helps with your blood pressure. So we're gonna make you a delicious oatmeal substitute. It's gonna be a breakfast for you. So you're gonna cook for me, okay? What's that, so you have millet? Yes. What's, what's this? This is coconut milk, mm -hmm. almond milk, and then you have a little bit of salt to taste. We have cinnamon, this is vanilla, cinnamon. cardamom, cinnamon, cinnamon, and a little bit of honey. Then we have coconut, toasted coconut, and walnuts. Perfect. So you're gonna make this for us, all right? So really this is easy. It's like being at home. Yeah, uh-huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all 
Um, we're going to just pour in all the liquids. Okay, you want to pour that one? And you can just whisk away. She gives me very simple tasks, thinking I can't mess them and up, but I can. And he masters them beautifully. All right, and we're going to put in now the spices. Cardamom, cinnamon, um, vanilla, and honey. And a pinch of salt. Now stir, stir, Just stir. A little pinch. Okay, and so you can store this for a long time in your fridge. It's ready to make, and you just throw it in here. It's super quick breakfast, literally 10 minutes. Um, throw that in there, and then with the coconut. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.